And now to this, nearly three weeks ago, Maine's deadliest shootings in history happened at two businesses in Lewiston, a bowling alley and a sports bar. So now we're kind of seeing how those shootings had a ripple effect on other similar type businesses in the Lewiston Auburn area, as well as their customers. Our Hany Ashivi here with a closer look at how the hospitality industry is doing in regards to all that. Hey, Hannah. Hey, good morning, Lee and Sharon. Many people are still trying to process that pain, and some are doing it by visiting the restaurants and bars in Lewiston, Auburn that they used to frequent, turning to each other to find strength after tragedy. Are we doing vodka? Are we doing whiskey? What do you feel like? Jackie Bergman keeps the drinks pouring. Oh, it's a good show. As general manager at Gritty McDuff's in Auburn. Uh, lemon. I don't, do you know anything about him? Jackie's asking about a regular she hasn't seen in a while. Time will tell, right? Thank you. You're welcome. It's an emotional roller coaster, for sure. And those ups and downs happen more often for Jackie when customers come in and open up about their own feelings about the shootings. It's still heavily talked about. We still hear stories on a daily basis. You know, everybody experienced it very differently. And the healing is also different for everyone. We have 558 mugs hanging here, which means essentially we have 558 regulars. And I think second to a therapist is a bartender. We hear all the highs, all the lows. Whether those conversations happen between multiple people. How is it? Or just one on one. What's going on, stranger? How are you? Good, how are you? Just by seeing all your regulars interact, um, and you get a different feel out of it. Sometimes it's like this regular over here doesn't really talk to this regular, but they see each other in here every day. But now all of a sudden, because of the events that happen, it's like, oh man, I'm really glad you're safe. Like, it's good to see your face in here again. Which number? It almost like builds your community back up after an event like that, where you really start to reconnect and appreciate those familiar faces a little bit more. And as more and more of those faces come back to Gritty's, Jackie will be here. Pop and Porter. To pour a drink and lend an ear. Just there for them more as a friend than really as a bartender. Across the street at Craft Brew Underground, owner Mike Williams. There we go. Is also dealing with the emotions that keep surfacing. Initially, that first week was. I don't even like really know how to describe it exactly. It was just like strange, odd, weird. I don't know what the appropriate term is for it, but just kind of like walking around in a funk for days afterwards. Then as more information was released about what happened and who the victims were, it all hit home. Especially when names started coming out is this community's not that big. So there was for almost everybody around here, they were going to know somebody that was either killed or hurt. They were telling stories about, you know, I know this guy from from this and sharing all that. There you go. Thank you. Welcome. The shootings also prompted Mike to make one subtle change at the bar. Should we do something so that we can see what's going on in the staircase? Because this place is, you know, you're kind of <laughs> operating on the faith that everyone coming down is a good person. Um, so we decided that we should see who we asked around and found someone that had a big piece of mirror that we could put in so we could get a, at least a view of the door. Because places like this, Saturday's comedy every single week. It should be all about having fun. I can see in advance what I'm going to have before I get here. And being with friends. I felt like, in the very least, these guys would want to come out and be together. Um, these are all people that when, you know, good, bad, or whatever's going on in their lives, they come here and they're together. One thing is true for Jackie and Mike. Living and working in the Lewiston Auburn area has been and will continue to be their constant. And supporting anyone who walks through their doors, whether they're celebrating or they're mourning. Hannah Yashivi, New Center, Maine. Lee and Sharon. All right, thank you, Hannah.